just like that, we're back with our round four 3 0 bracket. We got uh, Brandon versus Mark. I actually don't know who is who. <laughs> Okay, we've saved the thing. We know uh, who Mark is. And by a press of elimination, we know who Brandon is. Mark with a K? Mark with a K. Brandon. All right, Brandon. All right, okay. So we have. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Uh, we have Mark on what looks to be. Everyone's favorite deck. Emerald Steel Discard. And we have Brandon on. Uh, looks like it's. The old uh, blue red items. So we're trying to see some more Tomatoas. Tomatoas. So can Brandon's items draw them enough cards to keep up with uh, Mark's incessant discarding? I think this game is going to revolve a lot around Diablo. Old Diablo. Mr. Steal Your Card Draws. Uh, you draw a card, we draw a card, actually. But, uh, both players have mulliganed, and uh, we are off to the races. Starting with the old Ink the Pegasus, play the Robin Hood. And uh, Brandon's starting with the old Pop Skull. Looks like he drew another Pop Skull, so you probably know what his extras are going to look like, too. Maybe he just wants to play another popsicle. More popsicles, more popsicles. Question for one. And there's Buck. Will Mark pass the buck, however, by making Brandon discard cards with the... Uh, I'll even do the old one-two punch of Bucky into Diablo. One jump ahead. All right, Brandon's ramping up. Ramping up. Skipping to turn three. He's going to be able to uh, ready, set, go with four ink in play. This is a pivotal turn. Let's see. Third ink Diablo. Ha ha. Scream, even. Third noises. Let's go. Instead, and then just uh, gain a couple more. Pass it back over to Brandon. 
does make him discard though, because Aladdin sure is a flood war. The Mr. Brave Rescuer here. Questing and destroying items is pretty good in this matchup, let me tell you that. So, but Brandon's just gonna deploy some popsicles, play Fishbone Quail. Oh, that's a little awkward to use. I mean, Brandon gets exactly one card out of this before it goes in the trash. Yeah, and it's gonna go back over to Mark. Two, three. Ooh, uh, here comes a Robin Hood with what looks like another Robin Hood. And then he's going to quest and uh, blow up that fishbone. And uh, throw himself up to six lore. Again, gonna bash with one of these popsicles. Do some more questing up to 12, it looks like. And it looks like Mark's got the cards. So I think I just saw a prepared from Brandon, though, so this would be the turn to it. Oh no, just Madame Medusa. Snipe out one of them and just pass back. Ooh, oh no. Brandon, 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 what is happening with those cards in your hands? Mark's got two cards. I think one is Whole New World, and uh, given the spot he's in, I don't believe he's uh, looking to uh, cast it anytime soon. Yeah, bonk that thing. Get a couple more lore. So I'm gonna quest the Bucky too. To sixty. Oh, Mark threatening uh, the win. Brandon gonna take his one lore. And they'd be prepared. <laughs> no cards left in hand for anybody. Or, uh, no, Mark has uh, two, no, one card left, two cards left. Ink that, and Pegasus. Uh, Pegasus. There's the uh, flying, the, the cloud racer. is slowly pushing his advantage with an extra lore up to 17. Oh, and that's it. Brandon, it's all out of items and Flavisham does diddly squat. And uh, that means Mark is taking game one here. Seeing, you know, the strength of the, uh, I mean, we didn't even see the scary parts, I feel like, of uh, Mark's deck. I mean, we saw, like, the pretty tame parts. It could have been, like, way, 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 we could have been way worse. Like, way, way worse. 
Bears. <laughs> The uh, lore was updating at kind of weird times last round, but uh, yeah, we got there. We, 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 we basically got there anyway. Yes. Synchronized. <laughs> Should hopefully go a little better for him, being just get ahead of uh, Mark's discard. So, yeah, there's the cube. Put out the cube. with the old little Pegasus. The gift, just the old 1-1 one, one evasive. Quest for one. One, one evasive quest for one. But uh, does open up the option for the shifting the bigger Pegasus to uh, give all of Mark's characters evasive for a turn, which is uh, probably a pretty strong effect when you get to, when it basically also, because it basically just says, uh, you know, you can quest all your characters for free this time without having to worry about them getting challenged. But, uh, Brandon just uh, second ink passed, and uh, yeah, Mark's going to get oh, one ink here, or one, one lore here. And all right, well, there's the fishbone, and bonk, going up to four ink now. So when you get to uh, branch, so, uh, so I mean, ramp much scarier when you're going first because effectively kind of puts you ahead to ink. On average, you get to play things way sooner. There's the uh, Ursula that sinks twice, and then Mark goes up to two. Two There's five a sham. Yep, eat that ice cube. Draw two cards. All right, so we can see that. Yeah, Brandon's basically on five ink while Mark's on three here. And uh, Fishbone Phil's going to push this advantage even farther. For two more ink, Brandon's going to push that, that lead even farther. So yeah, Brandon has a way more ink than Mark. Holy. Mark is chilling here with three. Brandon's on like eight, I think, now. So if Mark inks here, Brandon's still at double the amount of available resources. Kind of wild. Kind of wild how fast the, uh, the, 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 the blue decks can just, just accelerate so hard. All right, gonna ink the uh, item destroying Aladdin. And uh, 
uh, play the old Flynn Rider, the one that uh, punishes your opponent for having no cards. Mr. Own Biggest Fan, the uh, the Rack of Lorcana, as they will. in his lore for four, so I mean, a bit of a slow start lore-wise. Oh, here comes Sisu. Oh boy. Sisu just cleaning up the board. Well, <laughs> just like that, Mark's back to square, maybe even square zero. I don't even know if he's back at square one, but he's certainly back at square zero. Sisu just, wow, such is such a powerful card. You know, every new set just reshaping the meta. Hey, thanks Tasha Fresh for the follow. Do you know a girl with hair like this? This one with flowers? Oh, here comes Tragic Beast Tragic Hero. Pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, play for Mark here. I mean, uh, get some, get to recoup some cards and uh, being a three five. But does Brandon have the old Medusa? No, here comes Dime. It might just be Quest for three and then Dime for six. Putting, uh, yeah, putting Brandon up to seven. That's exactly what's going on now. Brandon has decided. Well, let's race. If you want to give up your card draw to throw your beast into my CC, that's fine. That's fine. I don't care about that. Brandon's like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna win the game. Actually, why wait when I can just win? <laughs> Robin Hood, not the most menacing thing to be playing here, but. Uh... The other can't recognize the other Robin Hood is for the other card. Is it, is it just little Robin Hood, big Robin Hood? Questing, I'm going to six. Mark's like, well, if you're gonna quest, I'm gonna quest too. But I mean, Brandon's threatening up to 14 here. That is uh, certainly no slouch. So yeah, it looks like uh, Mark is trying to make combat difficult. Ooh, there is Madam Medusa. You can put that Robin Hood in the, in the trash can. And then, yeah, let's go up to uh, 13 with the 6th floor. And uh, that might just be a pass actually from Brad. Brandon does want to get at least one more lore off of Flavisham, but decides his lucky dime is too valuable to throw away, and Mark just does not have the tools to keep up. Giving uh, Brandon the win for game two. So just like that, our two game series is over. The first time we've seen this today, actually. But uh, that is how Lorcana goes. Uh, there are only two games, so what happens here is that... Uh,